Okay, this is our uh, Stun Seeker by Forest River. Uh, it's Class C and it's, uh, I believe, two years old. No, three years old. We bought a newer model than the year. <clears throat> but anyhow, uh, lots of problems. I'm sure anybody who's bought a new motorhome goes through the same thing. Uh, electrical problems, charging problems, windows leaking, I mean just uh, never ending. But anyhow, uh, we started having a problem where our tanks, holding tanks, always show empty. Even when they're full, they show empty. I know a lot of people have the opposite problem. Well, this is the compartment on the side where our dump is at. and someplace around there is where you're going to find your holding tanks. So for this one, they're up behind this panel. I should say that if you look up underneath the lip, at least on this model, you will find that there will be several uh, screws up underneath the lip. Um, this one over here, I can see it. There, I've already loosened that one. And then that'll take off uh, this panel that kind of covers up the tanks. Okay, so now I've dropped that panel and you can see the side of the two holding tanks. The one on the left over here is the gray water and the one on the right is the black water. And having the same problem with both of them always shows empty. I looked all over trying to find a way of testing this and it seemed like everybody wanted to tell me to go to the dealer and uh, to the point where I don't trust the dealer's mechanics. So anyhow, uh, you have, like over here, you have the lowest one is going to be your ground and then you have one third two-thirds and what they would call full and the same thing applies on this side where you're going to have a ground one two and three so the way to test this right now if i push uh, the panel buttons to see what the levels are they'll both show empty so what i did to to prove whether the problem was an electrical problem or if it was a sensor problem is if you just take a small piece of wire and tie it from one point to the other or you could even it's just 12 volts so it's not anything you're going to get shocked by but you can touch a wire from here to here and have somebody holding the tank uh, button inside and I did this I used a little jumper in mine I had a little alligator clip so I clipped it on here to here and had my wife push the button and as soon as I connected it she goes oh it shows a third well that's good so then I took another jumper left this one on and then I put the jumper up to here and it showed uh, two-thirds and then I added a third jumper up to the top one and it showed full and I did the same thing on the black water. So that proved to me that I did not have a problem with my panel or my wiring, that the problem is with the sensors. Uh, I tried buying uh, different chemicals, putting it in there, driving it around, everything. Uh, nothing seems to really work, so now I'm going to remove the sensors and see what they look like. Just so you know, uh, this is what the sensors look like. Uh, I bought a bag of eight of them on Amazon, and I think it was about $5.49. So they're real cheap and mailed to your house. You don't have to go anywhere. Uh, the uh, nuts on these particular ones are three-eighths, so I'll take them off. Okay, one thing I found that right off the bat was these were literally finger tight or even looser. 
So, yeah, I noticed these have a little notch cut and that's probably to hold it because when I went to tighten this down, it turns the uh, rubber or the post. So, the new ones that I bought uh, don't have that. So, I might take a moto tool and cut a little slot for a screwdriver to be able to hold that so I can tighten it down. Oh. Alright, in order to loosen these I'm going to hold, there's two nuts on here and you can see them here and here, but I'm going to hold the one and then uh, use the wrench to do the other one. Now what I've done is I removed the outer nut and the wire and I have this tool that's used for popping uh, body rivets, the, the plastic ones, little Christmas trees and stuff out with. So I want to see if I can use this to get that out of there. It's coming. out. Well this has a really good type of sensor. This isn't a cheap one. Uh, so maybe that's corroded on the end. I don't know. I'll have to see. All right. I just ran a garden hose into the sink because it's open and I can stick it down in there and I can't do that with the kitchen sink so easy and I filled the tank and this always read empty and now it shows full and that's just what it's supposed to do so the sensors that came with this I was surprised that they weren't just the little button ones and from what I've read these are supposed to be better, but from what I can tell is they got so corroded, and this is just the gray water, it's not black water, and so you can see there's a little bit of um, like an algae or something on there, but it's the contact, and it's that way on uh, every one of them. And I guess that was enough corrosion that it would never show a proper level. So anyhow, that's it. Like I said there's uh, one back here that's full, two-thirds, one-third, and ground. Uh, I did take a moto tool just to make it easier, and I just cut a little tiny slot in there just enough to help you could use a needle nose on the tip but that's it that fixed that problem uh, good luck